Pre-workouts make for an amazing workout, not gonna lie. Makes you feel like you can crush the gym itself using only your head, but oftentimes they can come with unintended consequences. Many ingredients, none of which you know or can pronounce. Hard to know which ones are actually working and which ones are causing harm, but you can bet dollars to protein donuts you know when you feel one. Caffeine! Commercial pre-workouts are often packed with 300, sometimes 400 milligrams. That's equivalent to four cups of coffees or six shots of espresso. Taken at 7 p.m.? If you're even moderately sensitive to caffeine, that's rocket fuel to your nervous system. No way your system clears it out on time. So then you wonder why it's 1 a.m. and you're wide awake. I know this because this was me for all of my early 20s. Amazing workouts, little rest in between sets, and insomnia that would put a raccoon on a sleep schedule. It took me a while to figure it out. My circadian rhythm was destroyed. I was tired throughout the day. My hormones began getting all out of whack. I don't have to keep going. And this is by no means a video to trash pre-workouts. I still take clean ones I trust about two to three times a week, mostly before 12 p.m., and green tea derived caffeine works great for me. But what about the other days of the week? You know this barbarian is working out more than that. The following supplements took my workouts to another level on weekdays, while still getting 90 plus sleep scores on my aura ring. And that's when I realized I didn't need to wreck my nervous system to get a good lift in. I just needed to feed my mitochondria the little power plants inside every cell. Because here's the truth. Most people are running around with burnt out mitochondria and then slapping caffeine on top like a duct tape fix. I started experimenting with what I now call my ATP stack. Compounds that fuel your mitochondria, the literal engines inside your cells. See, there's this molecule in your body called ATP, short for adenosine triphosphate. It's not flashy, it's not trending on TikTok, but it's literally what every cell in your body uses to create energy. When your ATP levels are high, you don't just feel energized. You feel primed, focused, and ready to lift like you're storming a medieval fortress. Your muscles contract better. Your brain is focused. And your body feels like it's running on clean firewood, not lighter fluid. The best part? There's a way to support your body's natural ATP production without jacking your heart rate to hummingbird levels or keeping you up till 3 a.m. Googling how to fall asleep fast. These five supplements I'm about to give you the sauce on became my non-caffeinated war paint. PQQ, the mitochondrial architect. PQQ helps your body create new mitochondria. It's like giving your cells more engines to work with. More engines equals more power. It's like going from one horse pulling your chariot to a full-on war caravan. You won't feel it like a caffeine jolt, but you'll feel your stamina's better, your lifts feel smoother, and your recovery tightens up. Acetyl L-carnitine, the fat shuttle. This one transports fatty acids into your mitochondria, where they're actually turned into energy. Think of it as a Trojan horse for fat driving straight into your cellular power plant. You burn fat for fuel, not just during cardio, but even during lifting sessions, and that means more clean energy for your workouts. It also helps with brain fog, mental endurance, and fat burning. Big bonus. Three, methylene blue, the cellular conductor. Yeah, you've probably heard of this one. It's literally blue, and no, it's not Windex. Methylene blue has been studied for over a century and it enhances electron flow in your mitochondria, improving how efficiently your cells make ATP. It's like upgrading your electricity from janky wiring to Tesla-grade current. Plus, it crosses the blood-brain barrier, which means enhanced focus, memory, and mood. Four, and this one you've definitely heard of, creatine. And don't just take this one because you want to get swole. Yeah, creatine helps with strength, size, and recovery, no doubt. 
But what most people don't realize is that creatine is also one of the best cellular energy boosters on the planet. Creatine helps your cells recycle ATP faster, especially during short bursts of high intensity movement like sprints, heavy lifts, or any moment when you need to go full barbarian. It's also neuroprotective, supports brain energy metabolism, and has even been studied for cognitive enhancement. Try them out and let me know how you feel. If you've got dosing questions, let me know in the comments.